metal scale one. It all looks perfect, and then it comes with a fuselage, which is, you know, big. You know, it's a huge fuselage. It's all CNC cut panel lines, painted decals on it. What kind of batteries? Uh, this runs a 2200 milliamp four cell. It's a Scorpion 2222 1-10 motor, which is set up for somewhere between four and six cell. Then I got a uh, Castle Creations 45 amp speed control, which is something where we recommend somewhere around that rating. And then this has got the four, the uh, high tech 50. Uh, 85 mg servo, uh, cyclic servos. Yeah. There's four cyclic servos on the ship. Okay. And then the, the kit comes with uh, the two conversion servos. So Rotate, yeah. You need the conversion mechanism. I see. So where can we find this online? Rotormast.com. You can see it online. There's uh, uh, some video of the scale. Well, the pre-production scale ship flying. Uh, and hopefully here, just uh, hopefully Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, I'll have the scale ship, and I hope to bring that out to Mount Pleasant. All right. So then that'll be cool too. It's standard helicopter radio. You got to have an extra channel to run your uh, your conversion, and it can be with a slider. You can do it with a multi-position switch or a knob. I use this slider here on this this transmitter. And run it with my pinky. It flies good enough that you can actually take your hands off and then turn the knob and go back on. But it, this is nice because you don't have to take your hands off. Like I was telling Richard, the way you, you get used to airplane mode is you just set, whatever you control it, you just set that full throw to be like 10%. And so then your nacelles, when you go full throw on your slider, then your nacelles will only come over at 10%. And then you can fly that and get used to it. And then the next flight, you set it up 20%, and you just slowly work into it because this thing is perfectly controllable at every nacelle angle. So you you know you can just slowly work into it, get comfortable moving closer and closer to airplane mode. But it really flies really hardly any different. Of course, while it converts, if you give it a roll input. You know, let's say your nacelles are here. Uh -huh. It's going to roll right around the center of the fuselage. It's not. It's not like you got to adjust for that in your head somehow. It's always, no matter where the nacelles are, you give it a roll input. It's going to roll perfectly. It's going to pitch perfectly, and it's going to be all perfectly. Oh, that's cool. It's not like you got to. You got to figure that out. It does all that for you. So it flies the exact same. There's a. You know, there's this little controller on here. Which is a, quite a nice, sophisticated device. It does all those calculations for you. It's basically a CCPM mixer. It, it uh, works your collective pitch for you all the time. It mixes in your gyros and then does the uh, transformations uh, for the conversions. And it's also got functionality in it to match your right and left uh, nacelles so they're always stay perfectly matched. It's got, uh, it's quite a nice little piece of uh, equipment. It's got a really nice interface, PC interface. And it's got the basic settings, which are basic setup settings, which are centering the servos, setting some ranges, uh, matching your nacelles right and left when you get it set up. And that's basically all you have to do. Or then it's got all the advanced settings in it too if you want to mess with the amount of power you want to, to let the nacelle C, you know, how much how much power you want to give it, or you can, you can actually monitor that, the maximum power that you're applying to the rotor disc, so, and that's a function of airspeed, so you can actually work with that, you can you can work with how quickly the nacelles convert, or if you want to play with that, you can, of course, turn up the ranges, you can turn up the collective pitch ranges, you can mess with your gains, settings as a function of nacelle angle, too, so, and uh, throws, turbo throws is function of selling. So there's a lot of uh, cool uh, functionality for the experimenter in there too.